of all the villains that we saw in Spider-Man No Way Home, I would say that Electro is the one out of everybody that deviated the most from his comic costume. What is going on Drive2 crew? Ramni here with a brand new drawing tutorial for you guys and today we are going to be drawing the last villain from Spider-Man No Way Home. That is, of course, Jamie Foxx's Electro, which we saw originally from Amazing Spider-Man 2. The Electro that we got from Amazing Spider-Man 2 was not his classic look. It was more blue, and that's this figure right here, which is a more modern take. It's the ultimate version of Electro. But uh, when he was introduced, reintroduced in Spider-Man No Way Home, uh, gone was the blue. They reintroduced, uh, like, the the crazy mask that Electro wears but this time around of course they tried to make it more realistic so what they did was they created like um, just electricity emanating from his face ex instead which kind of gives that effect so that's what we're going to do in this tutorial right here now keep in mind you guys that we are going to be doing a breakdown of Electro first so you guys can see like the shapes that make up the figure or the make up the the image that we are going to base our drawing off of and then we're going to go right to the tutorial. So having said all of that, let's go ahead and get started. All right, you guys, so here is our Electro um, picture that we are going to base our drawing off of. And we're going to always start off with that, uh, with that uh, circle. And then we're going to find the center line and we're going to figure out where the face is. The neck goes right there. And then what I like to do usually afterwards is I like to find where the shoulders are. So for Electro, his shoulder is going to be here and the other one is going to be like right here. And so I like to, you know, always sort of draw those shoulders first, connect them together. And then here we have the uh, shoulder, like the, the trapezius, the back. Okay, and then we've got a center line right here. So here's how we're going to do our center. And then you guys can see probably that he's got a chest, um, like he's got a little thing that goes across his chest like this. So we're gonna, we're gonna do that for the chest, kind of complete that, uh, that look there. Here's the back. I like to differentiate between the back and the, and the front. Okay, so there's that. You don't see much of this uh, arm. And then here we have quite foreshortened, but here we have the uh, um, the other arm. There's the bicep actually, and then here's the tricep right there. Separated it this time around, okay? And he, in the pose, he's actually got his thumb sticking out right here. We're not gonna draw that part. And then just the little parts here, just have to keep in mind what what's gonna make this uh, drawing quite difficult is probably adding those little details in the mechanical parts there. So there's one that goes across right here with a circle right in the center where he puts the arc reactor. And then you got the little hoses that connect to the sides and stuff. There you go. So, and then of course, um, once you figure out the eyes, you got this, uh, electric looking thing that sort of comes out of his face. So we're gonna add that in as well. So taking the bottom layer out, this is what our Electro is going to look like. So let's get drawing. So here we have our paper in landscape mode because we're gonna be drawing Electro just up to mid torso there uh, for the sake of this tutorial. And I'm going to start off by drawing a circle we're going to find a spot right here. We're going to leave some space up at the top because he's going to have like electricity coming out from his face. So let's do that. I do have my Electro figure here. Looks nothing like the actor, but uh, this is from uh, his appearance in Amazing Spider-Man 2 anyway. So I'm going to put him aside right here. So let's go ahead and start with a circle right around here. So not too close to the edge there. I'm just going to draw him right here is fine. Okay, and then a line that sort of dictates how he's going to be, um, where he's looking, stuff like that. So here's the chin, 
and then there's the jawline like so okay let me just adjust my colors here okay so there's that and then you've got the neck sort of running parallel to the head so he's kind of got his like head tilted to the side in a kind of like a cocky way like cocky is in showing off that kind of thing okay so now we're going to leave a gap right here and we're going to draw a shoulder we're going to draw a shoulder kind of like right around on this side right here i think that's a good spot for it and then going across when you go across you kind of about this far down from the chin it should be and then we're going to draw the shoulder on this side right around mm -hmm. a little bit further this way so right around here is good so I'm just gonna draw a curve like that what we're going to do now is we're going to kind of draw that back right there and then figure out where the chest is gonna go okay so here's the chest let me adjust this slightly so you guys can see a lot better there you go so there's the chest and then from here we're kind of going to figure out the roundness of the back and then the chest is going to go down like this mid chest so follow kind of like the center where the chin is and then we're going to follow along we're going to draw a line going down so here's our torso i guess you could say that goes down this way and then i'm just going to draw a line across but we know that there's a spot right here where it sort of goes up and then goes back down like this okay and then we're just going to continue working on his arms so I'm just adjusting the shoulders a little bit his arms i'm going to cut off uh, my electro drawing right here got the upper arm right here you don't see much of it so that's pretty much how it's gonna go okay so the circle is gonna be right around there and then let's draw the bandolier I don't know how you call it like the little thing that goes over his chest there okay so it doesn't go past the bottom of his chest so you want to keep it up above and this sort of just goes across like this, just like that. Okay. And yeah, that's pretty much it. What we're going to do now is we're going to start working on the details. And let's start by kind of figuring out where the nose is going to go. Again, if it doesn't look like Jamie Foxx or anything like that, that's completely fine because we're not drawing uh jamie fox the actor we're trying to draw electro as he appears in spider-man no way home right so you know this isn't a um a tutorial on portraits or anything like that we're just drawing the character so that's the most important thing finding the eye line is what we're going to do is we're going to figure out where his eyes are going to go And over here, it really kind of doesn't matter how detailed you want the eyes to be because it's going to be covered. Now, if I had yellow, this would be yellow right there. His pupils are completely bright. Right, so I'm not going to worry about eyebrows or anything like that. Right around here is where I'm going to draw like the the nose and right beside it like so got the nostrils I'm gonna turn my paper to make it easier on my wrist to draw and I'm sure you guys do this as well if you're left-handed you do it the opposite way here's the sides of the nostrils right there Okay, does it look like Jamie Foxx? Not really, but that's okay. Okay. 
Let's draw his upper lips. Now he's got a bit of a frown. So there's the top of the lip and then I'm going to draw kind of that frown. But it's kind of weird because he's kind of got like this half smile or a little bit of a smile as well. Here's the bottom lip right there. Okay. And then he's got a mustache. May have made that too dark there, but that's okay. Just like that, and then straight line going down towards the chin. Okay, and then we're gonna work on the chin right now. He's got a bit of a shadow right here. And then his chin sort of looks like that, okay? As we do that, let's uh, work on his cheek, cheekbone. That's the word I'm looking for. <laughs> there you go. And then the same thing on this side here, just the cheekbone. And then work your way down to the chin. Okay, so there's my figure right there. Let me, you know what? My window's too wide open. Let me bring that down slightly. And hopefully that you'll be able to see it a little bit better. Okay, there you go. All right, so here's some hair at the bottom. And now the way that I draw hair, you could, I guess you could give it a uh, just a black patch, but you probably want to do this one better. Just like draw the individual hairs. It's going to be painstaking. It's going to take a while, but it looks a lot better when you're drawing the hair than to, you know, just draw it as like one big patch. Okay. Here's the ear right here. And then the neck sort of goes down from the ear. You don't see the ear very much on this side, but you do kind of see it. Again, you don't really see much of the brow or anything like that. Let's draw the forehead though. Okay, it's got a nice fresh haircut right here, just like that. And then I'm going to just reshape that head so it doesn't look like a full circle. And like so. Okay, and then we color that in. Give it some curls, just like this, so it's not just a solid, solid black color if you're going to ink it. So there's that. And what I did was for the eyes, I kind of colored black where the white of the eyes normally are, and then I just leave white at the uh, center of the eye. So that's how you kind of get the illusion of this glow. So that's where that is. Okay, we're gonna draw the lightning effects a little bit later on, so I'm not too worried about that just yet. Okay, so I think we're okay with the face. Let's continue on. Let's work on the costume first. We're going to draw the under t-shirt layer first, and then we're going to draw the, the bits and bobs that are on top of it. Okay, so it looks like he's got like this electrician's suit. And it kind of goes like that, and he's got some collars that go up. And then it goes around towards the back. Like that, and over here sort of does that, okay? And then we'll see, that's where the wire is going to be a little bit later, so let's not worry about that too much. But then he's got, oh, it's really, really weird, or not weird, but it's just a little bit tough to see the under layer. But it's got like a, this line that sort of follows, goes all the way down like this. 
And it's not a straight line because the fabric is not tight. It's loose on him. So this is like the zipper part of it. And it's zigzags, as you can see. It's like three lines. And it sure just shows you where the fabric loosens up a little bit in the torso. Okay. So there's the loose fabric. Let's uh, figure out how the shoulders lie. Okay, so it kind of acts like a t-shirt. So here's the seam that separates the arm, the sleeve, which by the way, goes like this right here, mid, uh, mid bicep. I'm gonna draw two lines right there. And then there's a bunch of wrinkles on here, kind of just beneath the, this muscle right here. Some wrinkles going this way. He does have a strap that goes across. So let's, uh, let's draw that strap in. Okay, so bottom, bottom of the shirt, and then you got the armpit part of the shirt, kind of just with a bunch of folds that come out from the armpit outward. Okay, right here, we're gonna take this chest line that we did here, and we're going to make it follow parallel to this line, this curve. Okay, there's the seam part of it, so I'm gonna draw it twice. Just like that. And over here, it gets a little bit complicated there because there's a lot of like little things on that side. By the way, if you want, um, because of the way that I have the camera situated, I can't exactly zoom in, but feel free to do so if you need. Let me see if I can zoom in. Nope, I cannot, unfortunately. Oops, I just, <laughs> I just hit my camera. All right, there you go. Uh, from this lowest point here, two lines going downwards, and then here, same thing, two lines going downwards. Again, I'm just kind of starting to follow the curve of this uh, zipper here. And then right here, just like that. And then the second one right here. See how it sort of follows that curve. So you can kind of see like the, 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 the suit bends. Okay. That's just how that looks on that side. And then on this side, we're going to follow the same thing where we have the, um, what do you call it? Uh, you have a band that goes across and then you got the bottom of the shirt here. And then you got wrinkly parts of this shirt over here. And then I'm going to not make it stick out so much. I'm going to make it stick out less. Okay, there you go. And that's looking at it, it looks pretty, pretty simple. All right, so now what we're going to do, so this is like the black part of the shirt. Actually, let's draw the biceps now. And then you got the forearms right there. And then that's as far as I'm going to draw. Okay. Um, as I continue to draw it. Okay. Uh, so right here, he's got like the yellow parts of his costume. And I can't show you with this figure because he doesn't have it. But um, this is where you kind of get that costume uh, or inspiration from his classic comic book look without making it look really nerdy. But uh, it looks like it's... Um, what do you call it? Straps that go across, but they go in a upwards angle towards the center. And you don't see this part because it's going to be covered by that uh, circle, right? So here's one, two straps. And then same thing on the other side, or it just follows along on the other side, which you don't see a lot of. So I'm just going to draw that faintly like this. Okay, so there's that. And then 
to make it easier for you guys to see, there's this strap that goes across. So it's a very convoluted, very complicated looking design. And I'm going to start right here by drawing something that kind of looks like a watch tilted diagonally. Do two lines like this. The inside line is going to be where I draw the watch part. So there's that curve. And then I'm going to draw this curve right here. Okay. And then the inside, I'm going to draw another curve right here. And then now you're left with what looks like a circle. And then I'm going to draw a circle inside that circle. And there we have our arc reactor in there, just like that, okay? And then right here, this is going to be like the side right here. So follow that along. That's going to be like the side of your entire, uh, entire strap, okay? So here's the side of that circle. Right here, there's like a diagonal part that sort of goes up. When you do that on this side, you got to do it again on this side, similar angles. Like that. Okay, bring it together. And then you have a little bit of this kind of sticking into it, like so. I'm going to draw two lines like so. So that's what that looks like. Okay, not quite done yet though, because what we're going to do now is we're going to draw a rectangle with rounded sides. Draw a line going down the middle. Because what this rectangle has, I'm going to draw two screws right there. And then Two lines like that that kind of stick out and that's going to be piping or pipes and this is going to be for a hose that goes to the side okay so leave this the way it is for now we're going to go over here we're going to draw kind of looks like this almost but we see it at a different angle and so i'm going to draw two lines like so Two lines like that, then flat line, and then I'm going to draw the side like this. And basically, it looks like another one of these, but kind of just on the shoulder here. Like that, okay, except you see two, two things right here, like two little uh, places where you get to put your hose and then let me just erase this chest line here so that we can see much better these two hoses that connect from here to here I always you know I always thought that hoses as a like part of a costume is just not practical you know what I mean? Like if you have like this hose exposed in your costume here, it just makes it, it just gives your, your enemy like something to, to target. I know Bane, like Batman, Batman character Bane has like a hose like this. The thing with hoses is you could easily just snap it right off. Batman could just easily take Bane's hose and just like rip it from his head, which he's done in the comic. So, you know, you'd think you want to conceal those hoses. Okay, so now I've got those two hoses connecting this contraption to that contraption. Okay, and then I'm just going to reintroduce back the uh, those lines I erased. Okay, so this yellow line right here, this is supposed to be a yellow line. It does stick out like this and at the very end of it. Okay, 
And since we're here, I'm going to have the hose that comes out of this side. By the way, these hoses have like a, a metal connector at the very ends of them. Okay, so that's what this is right here. And this goes, let's take another hose that comes out. And then, and then let's draw where it's gonna end up. So here's our, I'm gonna draw like a little rectangle here just to show like a, that it looks like a harness for the strap. And then he's got a little machinery that kind of, that the hose is kind of connected to here on the side. That looks like a big rectangle, like so. Okay. As you draw the hoses, you want to try to make sure that you're um, you're not making parts of it skinny. It has to be stay consistent the width. And then, oh yeah, I forgot to mention that the hose kind of has like this black diagonal candy cane like lines that look like that. Okay, so that's that. Here's the costume like that. Okay, let's draw those candy cane black lines here. One, two, three. Okay, this goes to the back where we don't really see where it connects. So it doesn't really matter. I'm just gonna draw a bunch of lines up and down going around there. And then just a couple of squares right here just to kind of show that it's not just the flat surface. There you go. So that's that. Okay, right here. I'm gonna draw a circle like so. So that's what that is. And then we're gonna draw another one on this side. Is it looking complicated yet? Because it sure is. <laughs> Again, feel free to zoom in, uh, pinch your screen and zoom in uh, that way. Okay. Now I'm adding a lot of details to this. Like we're gonna try to simplify it. This is as simplified as I'm gonna try to make it, but of course you can always look at the reference photo and add more details as you wish. Okay, uh, circle here, like so. Now there's going to be a hose coming from here and it's gonna go out. I'm just going to draw kind of its path that it's going to follow. So it goes above the shoulder this way on this side. And then it's gonna go up and then it's gonna go to the side of the shoulder. Okay, so very similar to this little thing there. We have the same thing on this side. And it's gonna be a rectangle that looks like this with rounded corners. And it's just gonna go underneath it. And then there's the hose actually follows along, it goes underneath it and then just goes further downwards. On this side anyway, this side not so much. Okay. Here's another rectangle here. So I'm gonna draw this thing that sticks out like so. There you go. diagonal candy cane lines. Didn't quite continue it, but that's because we haven't really worked out where it's going to end up here. Both my racers are getting dirty. <laughs> okay. So that goes into this contraption. I'm gonna turn my paper so you can, so I can draw it a lot easier without straining my wrist. There you go. And then more 
of the uh, diagonal lines going this way, like that. Okay. So there's that, and then now we have the strap continuing going towards the shoulder. But actually, <laughs> I take that back. There's a lot more going on. So hang on, let's draw. Let's draw the bottom part of that strap, and then let's draw like the side of it. So there's the side there, and then right here, there's a square or a rectangle. with the hose coming from here. So there's my rectangle there here. It kind of looks like my eraser, doesn't it? And then you've got a hose coming from here. This is the hose that's gonna cover the collar. And it's gonna go over the shoulder like so. At this point, my suggestion is for you guys to kind of just pause the video and take some time to clean up your drawings. That's to make make it easier for you later on so you're not just confused with all the lines that you drew, like where does this go, that kind of thing. You don't have to worry about all of that. Okay. So for this collar, I'm going to draw a second line going down, or sorry, second line this way, this way, and then into the zipper. There you go. And then the neck, the rest of the neck, you don't really see it. It just looks like that. And there's like a lot of shadow over here. Okay. And then we're not done with this top part of the, uh, the strap yet so what we're going to do is we're just going to clean that up I'm going to draw another layer above it just like that and then this one is going to be divided into squares there you go And then this one has a bunch of like little tubes that curve and it kind of looks like kind of just ovals really is what they look like. But it looks like copper wire, some sort of wiring. And it goes over to the other side of the shoulder actually. So let's do that. Okay, so it looks messy, but that's kind of how it is. Okay, there you go. We're done, pretty much done. Uh, he does have like a, a gray stripe that goes down from the this part, the top part, down to the bottom of his uh, sleeve there. Okay, and then again, he's got this. See how I drew, I drew four lines like this. And that's to give that strap to make it look more like a strap. Okay. There we go. All we really have to do now is just add some details to this part of the chest and I'm just going to simplify it by drawing okay that and then two lines coming out from it this way going down so it makes a square Just like that. I'm going to do the same thing over here. Okay, one more line over here. And there you go. And then it sort of ends 
right there. This is the arc reactor that has the triangle. So this is the tritium from Iron Man 2, I believe. So I'm going to draw a triangle on the inside with another triangle inside it. Okay, and then lines coming out diagonally from it to the outside of that circle. Okay. Just gonna draw the top part of that chest going across this way, like so. And I think, let me see if there are any other wires. Oh yeah, torso part. So we're pretty much done with this part right here. You can add more details if you want to, but let's, um, let's start right here now. And he has over here like a, three triangles. So there's one triangle that goes like that. And he's got another triangle this way. Actually it goes outwards or this way. And then he's got another triangle this way. Okay, so three triangles. I don't know why I'm having a hard time drawing just triangles here, just centering them. There you go best as you can and then he's got like a little circle over here with a another wire sticking out from here going upwards and under under the arm Okay. He does have actually a yellow. I'm just going to draw this right here because this part of his costume is actually yellow. Okay. A little bit of details and rivets and all that stuff on those triangles but I don't does he have it on this side I can't really see it I think he does but yeah it's just hard to see but what we're gonna do is we're just going to draw um, it looks like a strap going across this way it looks more like a seat belt a harness of some sort right so I made like this hexagonal shape going like this and then this way curve that triangle and then a smaller triangle right here actually that is a safety or like a little strap that goes across more Right here. Diagonals like so. And then we'll just keep it as is. Okay, so this does stick out over here a little bit. So I'm just going to draw where you see the side of the triangle, or pretty much the side, right? And then the triangle goes inward like that. And then the other triangle right here, you don't see very much, but you see this bottom triangle is going to stick out like this. So you do see it on the side, but you, you see it from like not this angle. This would be the triangle. You see the side of it. So that's what that is. Okay. And then it looks like he's also got a hose coming out from here going outward and 
I'm just gonna bring it in, snaking its way to the back like this. Okay, and then you see the rest of the arm kind of coming out like that. Okay, so we're pretty much done with uh, this aspect of the costume here. I'm just going to draw finish drawing this strap going this way and ending it right there. Now let's go back over here and let's focus on drawing the lightning. Okay, so the, the trick with drawing any sort of lightning shape is uh, not you're not going to draw straight lines, okay? Okay, so first we're going to figure out where the, the point is going to be. So it's going to be like right around there. So from the center of the eyes there. Okay, from this eye, I'm just going to draw a line going this way. And then same thing over here, going this way, actually, like that. So you want to try to follow a similar angle from the face going outward. Okay, and then going across the eyes, and then from the nose, center again, right, going this way. And then this one goes this way. Okay, so that's how it's coming out. And of all of them, this one's the tallest. It sort of makes like this diagonal. So I'm just going to draw faintly that little diagonal and then this goes this way. So I'm kind of drawing like a star now. These, uh, these triangles are not as high, as tall as this one. And then that one just comes out like that and like that. And then lastly, this one goes this way into the top of the nose. Okay, looks like a star. But that's kind of what it is. So I'm going to erase part of his hair. This is going to go a little bit over his hair there. And this is kind of tricky. But just be random with your lines. And I'm just going to double up on mine. I'm going to draw an initial one that looks like this and then just and if they cross that's completely fine so you see how this is a kind of like a trick that i can't really teach you exactly where to go like what direction but something where you guys can kind of just instinctively just change the direction of your pencils. If it doesn't look right, erase it and start over completely fine. So I'm just creating these zigzaggy lines now that sort of look like this. Okay, and then a solid one that goes all the way to the very tip. And then I like lightning stuff coming out of it. Okay, if it helps you to change the direction of your paper, feel free to do so. But for me, it's probably easier for me to kind of figure all of this out in my inking uh, section of my drawing here. Okay, and then just keep going until you get that desired shape. And the lightning sort of creates like a brow for him to give him that angry look. So you kind of want to do that as well.
Okay, and then you just keep going until you get to all of the sides. And it sort of acts like a mask. So on top of his nose there, it sort of, sort of goes over his nose like so. And in turn, it sort of gives it that electro mask. Okay, and I'm just gonna turn my paper instead of my wrist here. And there you go. So there's our actually intended to draw it bigger, but that's okay. So there's our uh, electro drawing. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Try to make it as simple as possible. Um, it is a little bit difficult with all these uh, intricate details here in the machinery. But I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial and I hope you guys are successful in your drawings. I'll catch you guys in the next tutorial, last tutorial for Spider-Man No Way Home. It's going to be another Spider-Man, so stay tuned. And you guys, that is all the time that we have for this video. Thank you so much for tuning in all the way to the very end. I appreciate that a lot. If you guys are proud of your drawings, I would love to see them. So head on over to Instagram, tag me at draw2 so I can see your masterpieces. If you guys are ever curious about the tools that I use for drawing or the equipment that I use to make these videos, I have links in the description of this video. So make sure you guys check that out. If you are feeling extra generous, I have links down in the description as well for different ways that you can show your support on this channel. I already mentioned Patreon, but there are other ways as well. So be sure to check those out. Links in the description. Your contributions go a long way in ensuring that I can continue making videos just like this for you guys to enjoy free of charge. Again, if you guys like this video, don't forget to subscribe to this channel, like this video right here, comment down below and share this with your friends in your social media. And speaking of social media, don't forget you guys can find me on Instagram, on Facebook, and of course on my website, draw2.com, where you can find a free coloring page based on the tutorial drawing that is found in this video. Again, you guys, all of the links to those are found in the description of this video, so be sure to check that out. Finally, thank you so much for watching. I appreciate it. And uh, yeah, stay tuned for more so you can learn to draw it too. I'll see you guys next time.